All right, folks, I think I've got the uh, the capsule changed out correctly. I may be wrong on the output uh, or on the on the power supply side. I think I've got the output capacitors done correctly. So I've got green to positive, uh, yellows to negative, and of course you've got the white side is on the right or red is on the left, whatever it is in the manual. Anyway, I've got that all correctly, so I just basically a one-for-one -one replacement of these old caps here. And of course, they're much, much smaller, so I had to use some tape uh, wrapped around the capacitor just to fit the diameter of the uh, of the holders here. And so I think I got that side correctly. What I'm not sure about, and I've used on the... Uh, so you got the diode bridge here, and it had in... Uh, in, I have the schematics and it looks like the uh, the positive goes to here to the positive on the cap and then you've got the blue that goes to the negative and then of course I because we replaced um, two capacitors that were that were hooked in uh, parallel with one I'm not quite sure how everything should go but I basically went red to red so we had the uh, the harness where a whole bunch of red wires were coming up, so I just tapped that onto the positive. Here, let's focus this a bit better. There we go. Oh, shoot, that's not even better. There we go. So, where the harness came up, with, there's four red wires. I basically pinned it to the same positive terminal that the came from the diode bridge. And then I've got the blue... Um, negative going to the negative terminal, and then there was one riser blue cable coming from the harness on the side that I pinned to the negative or uh, soldered to the negative uh, terminal and of course I had to rotate with it's not as pretty as I've seen some other amplifiers but it's connected you can see and then of course on the diode bridge you've got two um, yellow wires that uh, travel down through to the other side here and tap into, I believe, what is the secondary winding of the transformer, which is here and here. Now, my question is, in the uh, upgrade data upgrade kit, um, they mentioned that uh, you have to replace the yellow wires um, with this, and I don't know if it has to be rewired somehow or reconfigured because of the, the two caps going down to one. I assume it should be hooked the same, but why do I have to go to the thicker um, thicker gauge um, yellow wire to replace this, uh, this thinner stuff, stuff? Is it because with the higher capacity capacitor here that uh, you could get higher current and maybe that's too small? Is it really that beneficial for me to, uh, as a hack to go in there and change that out, or is that just a nice to have? So uh, I'd appreciate an answer. Um, I'm not going to power anything up until I get some sort of a indicator that I have things correctly. Uh, but before I move on to uh, even getting to the power-up stage, of course, I'm going to follow the guide. I'm going to do the, uh, the power supply board first, and then I'll do the, uh, the two um, output boards uh, and get those all completed. And then I go through the uh, the step step by step. Um, of course, here's the uh, the only thing I've had. What would be beneficial is if we had an actual diagram of how you go down from one cap to two, or, or from two caps to one, and how it should actually be wired. The only thing I really have to go by is this, which really doesn't give a very you know you got black wires and. Anyway, I'm not, uh, it doesn't really give you a good warm and fuzzy that I've got everything hooked up correctly. Uh, especially the bottom side where those yellow wires go, the thicker yellow wires, and whether that needs to be re rewired. I suspect not, but I just want to make sure before I go and fry anything. And uh, we'll see, um, we'll try my hand at doing these boards. And uh, I'm very new to this, so. Uh, Hopefully, we can uh, I can muddle through this. So appreciate any feedback or comments on whether I've got things wired correctly or not.
and that would be great. Thank you.